The Top 10 Ugliest Wedding Dresses Ever Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, thanks for choosing to spend some time with us here today. As always, we are so happy to have your company. Whether you've come back for more or you're just visiting us for the first time, our mission stays the same, and that's to give you the facts and figures relating to all the biggest and best things in life. From luxury vacation resorts to high-end brands to the individuals who have made a huge impact on history and culture, we make sure that you know all about the most important and impressive stories. Today, however, we've got something a little more tongue-in-cheek and fun to share with you. In the world of pop culture and the paparazzi, nothing gets society more excited than a good old-fashioned celebrity wedding. Whilst the majority of celebrity brides look sensational on their big day and are worthy of huge double-paged spreads in society magazines, there's no denying the fact that a few make some terrible decisions that result in some less than desirable big day photos. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. This video is funded by our team at Alux.com. We built this platform for like-minded people. We want you to share your ideas, your stories, and your vision for the world. Be a part of the largest community of luxury and fine living enthusiasts in the world at Alux.com. We of course wish them all the best and don't mean to cause too much offense, but it's time to take a look at 10 of the ugliest celebrity wedding dresses ever. Number 10. Mariah Carey Kicking off our list in the number 10 slot is Mariah Carey, one of the greatest singers of all time who just so happened to also have one of the ugliest wedding dresses. When she tied the knot with Columbia Records boss Tommy Mottola way back in 1993, the stunning songstress almost drowned in this giant marshmallow design made from satin with huge 80s sleeves and an even bigger skirt. We can't even guess how many petticoats she's rocking underneath the top layer. To complete the questionable ensemble, Mariah carried a grand bouquet of flowers that was almost as big as the dress itself. The dress screamed the 1980s in 1993. Maybe poor Mariah needed to move on with the times. Number 9. Celine Dion Next up is another powerhouse singer, the Canadian superstar Celine Dion. Dion's marriage to her recently passed manager René Angile was undoubtedly one of the strongest in the music industry, but the dress the My Heart Will Go On songstress chose to begin the union in was definitely not so strong. Clearly taking inspiration from Marie Antoinette, Celine's dress featured a full ballerina skirt and 20-foot train, complete with a 7-pound headpiece that actually had to be sewn into her hair to ensure that it stayed in place. The couple in 1994, but this dress is like something straight out of the Renaissance. We don't know how much the dress cost, but it's estimated that the 90 yards of lace alone cost upwards of $25,000. Number 8. Katie Price British glamour model and TV personality Katie Price, formerly known as Jordan, has had a long and checkered history with living out her romantic life in the public eye. After finding love with 90s pop star Peter Andre on a British reality TV show set in the Australian jungle called I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, Andre and Price tied the knot in 2005. The marriage only lasted four years, but our memories of the dress will last forever. Tacky is very much the word of the day here, with Price donning a Barbie pink princess ball gown, equipped with a poofy skirt and a pink Swarovski crystal tiara. Her dress certainly matched her personality, big, bold, and unforgettable. And whatever you may think of the style, it certainly matched the princess coach in which she arrived at the church. In total, the Andre Price nuptials cost a whopping £1 million, the equivalent of nearly $1.5 million back in 2005. Number 7. Lady Mary Charteris If you have never heard of Lady Mary Charteris, then you are really missing out. More important than your average it girl and model with aspirations of being a DJ and singer, Lady Mary is also the daughter of British aristocrats Lord Needpath and Catherine Guinness. She gained further notoriety when she married Robbie Furs, lead singer of the band The Big Pink at her gorgeous family estate in Stanway, Gloucestershire in 2012. It was the dress, rather than the love match, however, that got people talking. Designed by Pam Hogg, the mind behind many of Lady Gaga's most famous outfits, Lady Mary rocked a traditional white gown with the more untraditional elements of a cutout bodice and body and tulle skirt combination. When you consider the Lady Gaga connection, it all starts to make sense. Number 6. Coco Austin 
actress and glamour model Coco has been married to legendary rapper and actor Ice-T since January 2002, and their big day has become etched in the memories of many thanks to the daring and opinion-splitting dress that she chose to wear. A picture in white. That was just about the only traditional element that the dress contained, as the plunging neckline that Coco opted for resulted in the final look being more like a hip-hop video than a fairy tale wedding. In one final attempt to remove any sense of subtlety, the dress was both patterned and contained a number of glittering gemstones on the bodice and neckline to further enhance Coco's attributes. Hey, if you've got it, flaunt it, right? Now, before we head into the top 5 ugliest celebrity wedding dresses, why not take a second to watch a video that completely counterbalances this cheeky one, our rundown of the 10 most expensive wedding dresses in the world. You can check it out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 5. Tina Turner Kicking off the top 5 is the wedding dress that Tina Turner wore to celebrate her nuptials with husband Erwin Bach in 2013. At 73 years old, Turner was owning it as a December bride, and after her torrid marriage to Ike Turner in the 60s and 70s, she definitely deserved some married bliss with German music executive Bach, but we can't get on board with the outfit she chose to mark the occasion. Though it definitely suited her in a strange way, we can't help but think that the black lace and green bunch skirt ensemble looked more fitting for a Halloween party than a wedding. The addition of transparent black leggings only helps to add to the costume feel of the outfit. Sorry, Tina. Number 4. Britney Spears Britney Spears has given the press a lot of column inches over the years, thanks to different marriage stories and even her mere hours-long union to Jason Allen Alexander had been annulled in 2004. She quickly followed that with a questionable dress choice on the big day of her wedding to Kevin Federline. In an ensemble that looked more fitting for one of her racy segments in her shows, Britney changed from a more traditional white dress in the ceremony to something entirely different for her reception, donning a mini lace dress that in all honesty looked like it was about two sizes too small and six inches too short. Hey, maybe the song was right and she's not so innocent after all. Number 3. Emma Thompson Nowadays, when you think of Emma Thompson, you think British acting royalty and utter class. But by the looks of these photos, this wasn't always the case. When Emma tied the knot with fellow British actor Kenneth Branagh in 1989, many expressed the opinion that the choice of dress did not match the status of the union. In what can only be described as something inspired by Maria von Trapp's curtain sewing skills in The Sound of Music, Emma looked more like an interesting rag doll than a blushing bride in this multicolored, multi-patterned, and multi-tailored concoction. It's definitely interesting, but we're not sure that it has any place in a wedding. Number 2. Pamela Anderson Always one to do things different and more flamboyantly than the rest, Pamela Anderson certainly rocked the boat when she tied the knot with musician Kid Rock in 2006. Deciding against any kind of traditional wedding clothing, Anderson said I do aboard a St. Tropez yacht wearing only a white bikini and a captain's hat. Clearly not wanting to make his new bride feel underdressed, Kid Rock opted for simple jeans and a fedora ensemble. Could this be the only celebrity wedding in history in which the bride has worn a bikini? We think so. The ill-fated marriage only lasted a year. We think Pam probably got more out of that bikini. Number 1. Mama June this is it. The ugliest celebrity wedding dress ever has without a doubt got to be Mama June's incredible outfit for her wedding to Sugar Bear in 2013. The matriarch of the TLC reality show Here Comes Honey Boo Boo finally tied the knot with her boyfriend Sugar Bear in Georgia, and her outlandish camouflage dress with orange sash and detailing ensured that the entire occasion was a true redneck affair. Not to be outdone, Honey Boo Boo herself donned a vibrant orange and pink ruffled dress but the prize for worst outfit of the day definitely went to her mother. We can't think of anyone else who would ever dare to wear such an outfit on their big day. We might think it was a disaster, but we can't help admire Mama June for her courage and conviction. So, there you have it. 10 of the ugliest celebrity wedding dresses ever. Which dress do you think was the worst? Are there any others that you can think of? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for joining us today, Aluxers, and here's one final fact as a thank you for watching right to the end. In another case of unconventional celebrity wedding gown designs, did you know that when Angelina Jolie tied the knot with Brad Pitt in 2014, her veil and the back of her Versace gown had artwork by all of her children embroidered into it? We think that's a cute way to include your kids in your special day. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. 
make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.